Hi all folks, this is Max from DroidBionicRoot.com So today I'm going to show you how to unroot your phone back to factory. Um, to do this you will need a rooted phone of course. Uh, one reason why you might be unrooting is taking it back to Verizon for warranty. Um, but if you're a really good customer and have a lot of phones like me, you probably can just throw them uh, rooted phone back and they'll give you a new one anyways. But I'm just saying if you're not, then you might have to um, Unroot it. So here's how to unroot it. Um, basically, it's same as rooting. Well, not exactly the same. Um, go to USB connection. Ch change it to charge only. All right. Let's focus here and uh, go to settings and applications uh, development and make sure USB is checked on and your USB cable is connected to your computer. Next, uh, you're gonna go download Droid Bionic Root. For those of you uh, .zip, for those of you used uh, uh, the method at droidbionicroot.com, uh, uh, you already have this. Anyway, go unzip it and run Pete's Motorola Root Tools again, and hit uh, unroot my phone. All right, and say yes. And this is very important. Here it says, do you want to restore system app files too? Say no. Alright? Because that's for Droid 3. And uh, it's working here. And searching for the phone. And step one. Oops. Um, well, I might ask you for allow. Yeah, because, uh, if some, because I didn't run any super user apps. But if it's, something pops up, you got to hit allow. Because I just rooted this phone. I rooted this like five times today. So it's rebooting and I'll be back when it reboots. Hi uh, folks, so it rebooted and then it rebooted again. So I'll be back and it reboots again. And uh, it's rebooting for the third time and it should be unrooted. And there's one more step we're going to do after we use this tool. Uh, we're going to go do the factory reset, which is kind of important if you want to just wipe all the user data off it before you return it. Um, so we'll do that too. It'll be completely back to stock. And hopefully you didn't remove any of the system apps. Um, if you did, you should have made a backup and you know copied it back into system apps folder. If you didn't, then, um, well, you should still be okay because they're not gonna go and check your system apps. It's just as long as you don't have super user app and it doesn't have root on it, you should be fine to go. Anyway, this is do, do the uh, step three unfreezing apps, uh, blah blah blah, and uh, it should be almost done here. I think one more reboot and it should be um, unrooted. And uh, I've been just rooting my phone like too many times today. So now it says congratulations, your sh phone should be now unrooted. Um, so I'll be I'll reboot it and show you that it's re. Uh, unrooted. Hi all folks, so it rebooted. You can double check that it's been unrooted by um, checking that there's no super user app. And here's one more step you can do to pretty much reset everything and I highly recommend it if you're gonna unroot your phone anyways. Um, turn off your phone and then we're gonna go into stock recovery and we're gonna set it to a uh, factory reset. And by the way, you'll lose all your you know user data, uh, not the SD card, but you know all of your uh, settings and stuff. So what we're gonna do hold down both volume up and volume down, right? Hold them down all together and hit the power button and Then this menu will pop up right here, right? Let me zoom in here and You're gonna use You go to recovery now. It says volume up select volume down scrolls. All right, so carefully using the volume down go down once and then hit the volume up button to select recovery and once you come into the recovery, um, you're gonna try to hit uh, volume up and volume down at the same time. And it, the blue menu will show up. Volume up and volume down. There you go, you got it? And then go down to um, wipe data factory reset, right? And then hit the power button. And uh, yes, go down to yes, delete all user data. Hit the power button. And this will completely wipe um, your like you know settings, passwords, and stuff. Uh, that way, it's completely unrooted. And when you do this, it 
you know, it will completely unroot. So um, you can go return it for warranty or, you know, maybe you're just trying to get it back to stock or whatever, but it'll clean out everything. Um, and then next I'm going to have a tutorial video on how to root it using Linux or Mac. Um, so, and also I'm going to keep making more videos of rooting, which will be fun. Anyway, this will be take me another 30 seconds. I'll be back when this is done. Hi all folks, so that's all done. Hit power to reboot. And I'll show you that uh, it's going to be back to square zero um, before I quit here. Hi all folks, so my Droid Bionic has been completely unrooted, so I've got the uh, startup uh, screen here and uh, just boot it up so it's kind of taking its time here. Um, but that's how you unroot your uh, Droid Bionic. For those of you who's going to use your method, um, you should really back up your latest rooted ROM. Actually, I don't have a video on that because we can't install Clockwork Mod Recovery. But later on, um, when Clockwork Mod Recovery is available, that's what you should do. That way you can uh, restore it to your rooted stock ROM and then use Pete's Motorola tools to unroot your phone. Anyway, that's how you uh, unroot your phone. I got to go root it again. All right, see you all later. And subscribe and don't forget to check out my uh, site, um, droidbionicroot.com and tell your friends about it, how cool it is to get root and free Wi-Fi tether. See y'all later. Thanks.